Okay, so I'm using a really weird deck today. Well, it's not weird. It's funny. It, it has little captions on it, you know. <laughs> so it's called the Mood Tarot. Uh, my friend over at um, Foolish Tarot turned me on to it a long time ago. It's actually really hilarious. It, it, it's called a Disgustingly Relatable Tarot Deck. I found it on uh, Etsy. But this is her website there. It looks like nataliemeraki.com. And the box is really nice. And they're uh, so flexible and easy to uh, shuffle. So, anyway, as you can see, this is your reading for Thursday, October 27th, 2022. And the moon is in Sag, right off the bat, early degree Sag. And it's trining... Uh, Jupiter over in Aries at zero degrees uh, Aries. So this could be a very fast-moving morning. And I thought it might be fun to use uh, a deck with some humor. <laughs> Especially with the moon and Sag. Sag people usually have... Oh yeah, <laughs> see what I'm talking about? Wait, if, I, if the camera will focus. It, I hate mom. <laughs> God. I've heard that before. Um, and and if, if you read reversals, I love mom. <laughs> okay. So take this with a grain of salt. Just, that was just for the giggles. And then I'll, I'll definitely read the, the real meanings, of course. <sighs> We do have transits going on that could have us in some authority issues. Ooh, so the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I'll just let you read the, the little uh, thought bubbles if you want. <laughs> she renamed it Fortune Cookie. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, no, I can't put that card. I'm, I'm going to use a different one because it doesn't... Well, you know what? It's okay. I'll go ahead and use it just because I'm, I don't want to go against guidance here. But uh, we can just cover this up because it doesn't... Russia doesn't apply to us. But this is great for tarot readings, right? <laughs> I mean, political readings for political tarot. And you can see that. But I'm, so I'm going to go now with the... Um, the real or the traditional meanings. Okay, so of course the Wheel of Fortune, which we've had, I think, didn't we have it earlier in the week with the Tarot of Trees? I, uh, yeah. So the Wheel of Fortune is that's my card for like knowing that yeah, some things are faded. We do have our higher selves that uh, you know brings in life lessons for each. At least is what I believe. Uh, brings in life lessons that we need to learn that we decided we wanted to um, wanted to you know bring in to experience basically. This is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter rules Sag, so it does very well go with the day. And but on the more mundane level, it's my card for reminding myself that I have free will. And I'm the one that turns my own wheel of fortune, right? I don't need a cookie to, fortune cookie to tell me, you know, it's going to be a lucky day. In fact, I don't even believe in luck. I believe we create our own reality. And yeah, we're pretty fortunate a lot of times, but that's probably because we've earned that in past lifetimes. At least those are my beliefs. They do not in any way have to be yours. So... But on the most basic levels, the Wheel of Fortune is all about turning, making those decisions, turning your own uh, direction. You know, imagine it being a steering wheel and you're literally like, you know, you're driving, right? Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. I mean, these are weird images like they always have in the traditional rider way, but... I, um, yeah, it, it basically moving the direction that you want to go. And when I see the Three of Swords, I always think of, okay, somebody said something mean, but I'm not good. Well, if that's what it, it was, because it might not be. Uh, 
if somebody said something mean or sarcastic and wasn't thinking and they didn't mean to and they were just being snarky, you know, because it's funny, uh, it can be it can still be hurtful, right? And maybe maybe we did have a mom that was like that. Or maybe we had a mom who was gossipy, and now we're having to learn to undo, you know, that type of uh, having that in your uh, wheelhouse, basically, as moving through life. And when you do that, you can really move forward in a whole new way. Because remember, this uh, with the Two of Wands, it's a reminder that we do create, we have the world in our hands, what our own, you know, each of us has our own little world that's in our hands to mold and steer the wheel, go in the direction we want to go. The Two of Wands is all about progress. It's a really good card for making plans. You can be a little restless with this card sometimes, and maybe you don't know where you want to go, but you want to go somewhere better than you've been in the past because whatever was going on in the past was maybe a little heartbreaking. It's possible. And if it was and it's a repetitive pattern, then you might want to check out your relationship with your mom to see if there's some commonality uh, to what you're experiencing now because until we heal whatever, you know, whatever those dynamics were with our parents, we'll just continue to repeat them. So sometimes this card comes through when you're there's some negative self-talk and you're trying to let go of that. And the message there is to stop betraying yourself. And if somebody was snarky and said something mean, I... Uh, Maybe it's a good thing to say, oh, that hurt, or ouch, you know, uh, where was that coming from? And then they might say, oh, I, I was just being funny, I didn't mean it, and then, you, and then it's like, oh, okay, because if you can feel that that was really genuine, you know, real genuine feelings coming through, then there's no reason to hold it against them. Because, you know, there's a lot of just sayings that are floating out there in the world. And with we have Mars square and Neptune now, so you never know what words somebody's going to be pulling out of somewhere, <laughs> right? It's like, don't even worry about it half the time. But if this is a real pattern that you're trying to overcome, there's progress to be made. And, you know, so you're going to have to figure out what that is for you, Right? But I'm sure it doesn't have anything to do with uh, Russia. <laughs> In, unless, yeah, no, I don't think so. Uh, yeah. So, okay. I, I'm just going to let this go and forget that that said Russia there. And, and it's like, how about, how about we change it to saying, um, uh, what do I really want? Right? Because that's really the meaning of that card. What do I really want? And am I patiently waiting for it or am I willing to work for it? What do I need to do to turn that wheel of fate for myself, basically, and stop betraying myself? Maybe there was a false message from way back where your mom said something like, oh, you can't do what you want. What do you, who do you think you are? Like that type of a thing. Or you're not so much. What do you think you, you know? And you're having to relearn and get rid of that old, old karmic pattern. Yeah. So best I can say is just be really kind to yourself. Love yourself through whatever you're going through. Okay? All right. Take good care, you guys. Bye.